sculpting a gel nail using the tube. One of my favorite ways, to be honest with you. And Greg is gonna show you how right now. ever wanted to experience such a pleasurable way to apply gel, there's nothing better than this. Like, I mean, this makes it so easy that you'll be wondering, how come I never had this before? I'm gonna show you how to make this super simple and it's gonna cover all fundamentals of strength and length. Okay, so I've already prepped it. We're gonna take our base. When I pull through the surface, you're going to see a slight amount of product on one side of the brush. All right, so we've gone through this before. I'm gonna tap this off. Notice when I establish it to the natural nail, I don't just start brushing it through. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that it's, first of all, I'm just gonna let this kind of run down towards the tip you're gonna notice that when I actually set this down and I push it out and I pull through the nail, it splits it like, like a, kind of like a tooth, right? So what I need to do is get the tip of my brush and then these, this leg that runs all the way, this giant um, like upside down U, I'm gonna get inside and I'm gonna start pushing that towards the back. Then at the same time, that bead is gonna give me an opportunity to slide down as close to the edge as possible. That's gonna build a really nice perimeter. You're gonna hear me talk about that quite a bit when I'm actually teaching, but you're gonna notice right now that I have a really nice, even application from cuticle to free edge. We're gonna set this for a minimum of 30 seconds. And now you can work on the other hand while your client's hand is carrying inside the light. You're gonna rotate as your work. That way you're going to be able to continue at a smooth rate. We're gonna get our form. I'm gonna place the tab underneath. I'm gonna pre-pinch the tip just like this. It's gonna give you a handle to work off of. Right? Always open up this back end, that way you have room. So whether you hold it from here or here, you're going to be comfortable. I like to hold it from the very bottom, and then that way when I get it on, I could use my, my fingers here to just rock it up nice and even so that the form is completely straight on the nail. Now here's the best part about working with the tube. I'm gonna to be using concealer peach. I'm gonna be able to squeeze it. So the nice thing is you can see I'm holding it like a pen. Right, I'm gonna make sure that I have, again, I'm just gonna kind of squeeze and you can see I just kind of draw it out to the tip. Now, this is like loaded, right? So once it's loaded, then what I can do is I can actually start to kind of squeeze a nice healthy amount from side to side. And you can see I'm just kind of keeping it connected, right? From corner to corner. I need to keep that full right there. That way when I continue to squeeze product out, I'm gonna squeeze enough at this point and start using the tip of the brush. I said brush, because it acts like one. The nozzle to actually get it into perfection. All right, so you can see, boom, I have it nice and even all the way through. At this point, okay, I wanna show you here in high definition you can see that there's like a visible dip in the gel right here and you have kind of like kind of peaks up and there's like thickness and then if I look to this side you can see that I don't have enough product up here. What you want to be able to do once you get it onto the nail is use your brush right just to kind of detail it. Look how I'm pulling from the corner right up to that edge to make it nice and even. You're going to notice on this side as well, for me to get this even, all I need to do is touch that high point and use a floating method. See, I'm just kind of floating on the surface. And that's how you really want to kind of move the product around so that you have great control while you're working. We're going to set that inside the light. We're going to cure it for a minimum of 30 while I'm working on the other hand. Once the free edge is dry, you're going to notice I'm going to be able to pinch right here from the front of the form. 
right? And if you have a good attachment to the natural nail, remember you have base on there. So it's going to fuse really well together. If it's attached to the edge and you have a nice coat of base on there, if you pinch from the front, you're gonna be able to release the form down. So if you're doing all the nails, don't start tearing it from the top like this. You don't have a good attachment, it could rip the free edge off. You always wanna be able to pinch from the front, work itself down, take them all, and then remove all of them. That is going to guarantee that you're not gonna tear the free edge away from the natural nail. Now what I wanna be able to do is I wanna be able to work the product around the perimeter. So like once I have the structure created like this, you can see from side to side, what I wanna be able to do is I wanna lay the product down and I'm thinking of this. Right? I'm, I'm really thinking about getting great coverage around here, right? All the way down to the mesh thickness, but this area right here. I'm not really concerned about the middle yet. It could be completely flat for all I care. If you build the perimeter correctly, it gives you room to file it into perfection. So I'm gonna show you what I'm doing as I'm squeezing it on uh, so that you can establish that foundation like the actual um, drawing that I illustrated. All right, so remember, I'm gonna pre-prime this. I'm gonna get it all primed, boom. All right, I got it out. Now what I wanna be able to do is squeeze down, boom. Get it attached, start squeezing, and notice as I'm working, like the contact. I have just, I'm not like in it like deep. I'm on the surface, and then I'm gonna continue squeezing around this area just to get it close. If you do get it on the skin, just again, make sure to kind of just get it off quick, right? That way you don't have to deal with cleaning up after you do everything. Clean it up quick and now look, I have that built up. I'm gonna to continue to squeeze and then I'm gonna just continuously really focus on a front to back motion. Front to back motion. You see how I'm getting the sides? I'm really focusing. As I'm working the nozzle across, squeeze more as I'm coming down the side. And then as I work back across, the excess from here will drag across, allowing you to squeeze more. Continue to do that all the way down the nail. It's just kind of like you're, you're decorating the surface with a nice even amount of gel. And my focus is to make sure that I get the perimeter covered well. Don't worry about it being flat, right? The gel will level nice around the cuticle area as long as it's not too bulky. So you can see right here, right? Then what I wanna be able to do to prevent it from actually experiencing any kind of really intense thermal reaction, the tube gels are nice for this, especially concealer peach or concealer pink. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the low heat power mode right here, and then we're gonna go inside the light and I'm gonna let it run its cycle. It's gonna take me at least, honestly, I would say probably like two minutes to do the other hand, leave it inside the light. Don't worry about it. Like if it takes not, you're setting it in and if it's running low heat mode, it's gonna run full 99 seconds. That's fine. You're working on the other hand. It's gonna take you at least that to do the other hand. Start from the pinky, work from the thumb. As soon as you're done, get it inside the light and you can continue to rotate and work yourself through. Now you can see that what I am left with is building the upper arch. So where am I going to start? I'm gonna start back here. I need to squeeze enough out, right? And then I'm going to make sure that I use this just to get it into areas and being very light-handed as I'm working the surface down, right? I'm gonna try to squeeze as much as I can through here. Then once I'm done doing that, I'm not gonna try to work it all the way down to the tip. I need to look at it from the side profile. This is where I bring my brush in, right? So like you can see how this area right here is visibly larger than this. If I go kind of a really nice kind of front to back like this, you see I'm just kind of working the product nice and even by keeping the brush connected to the surface as I'm coming down, a very light motion, you gotta be in it. Right, and then once I get down to here, I can start brushing it through. So I'm looking at this like, you can see it comes up, it kind of be a little bit flat. What I can end up doing is just touching with the surface to try to get it, right, built up enough. You have to remember, it's not gonna be this long. I'm gonna end up 
I'm gonna end up filing most of this stuff hanging down here away. So I'm thinking visibly when I'm looking at the side, don't stare at this stuff down at the bottom. You're looking at it from the side after it's filed. You can already start to see how I'm balancing enough product in the area so that when I file it, I have a great apex. Don't do a final cure until you make sure that you have everything built up correctly. Because once you're done curing it inside the light and you wipe it off, it's very hard. You gotta take down the shine. You gotta, you gotta do all these steps, right? Make sure you have enough product there or there's, it's still tacky, right? That way you can continue to add more to the desired area. Hey guys, we hope you love our nail videos. Comment below and let us know what you wanna see next. To see more, go right over here. To subscribe to our channel, head right over here.